goes nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh, shoot. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush? Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I got a wife to go home and snuggle with. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us for your grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on the chuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Elaine, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear, and don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, the map. Again with the map? I like the map. Forget about the map, just go. I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad, just go. All right, all right, I'm going. To Esponja Grande. There, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Threepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. Makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You again? Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me, looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Ugh. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. Uh, Captain, uh, something's happening to the sea creatures. Ha! You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Oh, 